Hey fellas, me Trapper here, and uh, the weather's gotten hot and I'm doing a control job. You can see I'm here at a fairly uh, nice house on the lake, and uh, the landowner here is having uh, damage done to his uh, landscaping and his trees by the beavers. This is about a hundred acre lake here, and uh, it looks like there's one colony. And uh, what I've been doing is uh, always start away from the uh, from the lodge, away from the den, and uh, I've been picking them off one at a time with uh, footholds on drowners. Um, this is uh, my preferred method uh, on control jobs is uh, they never wise up to it. The foothold is uh, set in front of a caster mound or even blind set. It's attached to a drowner. Uh, they step in the trap, down the rod they go, and uh, that's the end of that. Now on this particular lake, the uh, water is not very deep. It, it has a, a very shallow slope until you get out a good distance. Um, so that poses some challenges. And uh, one thing that I do is I set for a front foot catch in situations like that. And with a front foot catch, drowning is essential so they don't ring off. And also you can get away with a smaller trap. And I want to show you the setup that I use with great success. This is a, a secret, so don't tell anybody. But I use two Sleepy Creek number two long springs at each set, hooked to the same drowning lock on a drowning pole. It works really, really well. So let's take a look. Okay, this is the uh, top end. This is what goes up next to the bank. And you can see this is my homemade drowner. I just took a piece of number nine wire and uh, welded it to the rebar. I use a T-bar stake to uh, stake it down. And uh, hopefully you can see a little bit better there. Then I use a Death Diamond drowner lock. This is the best drowning lock that I have ever used. It's made in America. It's very heavy duty. And uh, it'll lock up on just about anything. Then what I've got is a quick clip here. And then I have my two traps. And you can see these are both hooked to the same drowning lock. And these are number two Sleepy Creek Long Springs. And uh, they're a little bit bigger than the number 11s. Hopefully you can get a, a good picture there. And uh, what gets in these things stays in these things. So when you make a front foot catch, it doesn't matter which trap they step in. They're both hooked to the same lock, and so when the beaver goes down, he's gonna take the trap that he's in, plus the spare trap with him. So you'll end up at the bottom of the rod with one beaver, with one foot in a trap, and then the extra trap goes along. This way you don't need two drowning locks, which is impossible to uh, make work anyway. It's very simple. You can use, what I like about this method, is you can use non-standard beaver traps. You don't have to go out and invest a lot of money buying big iron to get your beaver job done. These are number twos. These are great coyote traps, great coon traps, great all-around long-term survival trap, and I'm using them on a beaver job with great success. So let me get this set up, and uh, we'll see if we can catch another one. Okay, so there's the top end. It's going to be uh, secured to the shallow water. You can see there's my traps. I go ahead and pre-set them because it's easier to go ahead and set them now than once I get into the water. And when you look down, there is where my mound is going. And we're going to stick this out into the lake uh, where they can drown. And just to show you how easy that lock is, let me let me twist that a little bit. See how See how quick that slides. Real nice. If, you, if you're looking for drowners, Death Diamond. That's the way to go. Now let's get us a good, good trap bed. We want kind of a hole down in there where when they're coming, they're coming along and all of a sudden they step down and they exert force when they step down, sort of like stepping in a hole. You know how that'll jar you when you do it. Same thing for the beavers. Okay, now you can see I've got that in jammed down into the mud so that there's no way they can flip that up. 
you come up the rod and I'm about oh I guess about eight inches from the bank you want to make sure that you got enough chain to get those traps because remember I'm on a front foot catch here so I want them right there because the lure is going right there so this all looks good now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stake that down with my t-bar stake get that in there and get that down like that I need to drive that in just a little bit more secure then I'm gonna bed my traps right there Put my lure right there you can see that was my previous catch right there they tore that up good so uh, we'll see now here's the finished set you can see I have my caster mound and I've sprinkled the lure on it now the water is still muddy but you should be able to see one of the footholes there and then there's one on the other side right there you can see the drowning lock and the pole now this is critical and this is very critical if you're going to do this I had to trench I had to dig a trench underneath that rod in the shallow portion so that that lock could slide because that rod was laying right on top of those rocks you don't want the lock to get bound up at the top you want it to slide free so you can see there is the lock right there and I actually had to get down and trench that out and make a trench so that that will slide and of course once it gets off down into the deeper water it'll go all the way down but you can run into issues with it getting hung up on rocks or roots or mud you got to make sure that you can get your hand completely under that rod and go back and forth to make sure that thing will uh, slide freely I feel good about that one we're going to catch another one right here. As you can see, you don't have to have massive traps to catch and drown a beaver. You can catch a beaver by the front foot using normal, standard size traps. The key is to drown the beaver so that he doesn't have a chance to ring off. Well, I hope this was useful. Get out there and catch some beavers. Thanks for coming along, and we'll see you next time.